Okay, so hi guys. Yet another tutorial for you guys today. I was feeling in a shooting mood, so I just decided to bang out a couple. Um, but this is the look. As you can see, it's a darker eye and kind of a brighter cheek, but we kept the lips pretty neutral, although you can brighten that up if you want to. But if you would like to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So, in the interest of time, um, I actually did a couple of steps before I started filming. Um, those steps I did were, number one, high NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Primer, that guy. Then I did a colored base, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. It's just a black, any creamy black eyeshadow that you have will do the trick. Alright, and then I laid down a bridge color, and I actually did something a little bit different this time. It's still got brown tones with it, but um, it's got a really pretty, like, green duochrome to it. Um, it's a L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment Loose Pigment. Um, it's shade 914, which is Intrepid. That's what the bottom looks like. And then this is the color. And you're probably getting more of the green than the brown. But trust me, the brown is in there. Alright, so once you've done that, this is what your eye should look like. Alright, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with a black. And the black I'm using, this is um, from NYX also. It's a NYX Ultra Pearl Mania Loose Eyeshadow. And the color I'm using is Black pearl and that's what the container so looks like. So you take the take your NYX um, Ultra Pearl Mania in black pearl like this and you're going to take that on just a flat shader brush like this and you're just going to pat that all over your eyelid and all over your bridge color too until you get your desired coverage and then you're just going to take a flat top blending brush or any kind of blending brush that you have and just blend out the top edges here. I had to kind of do this this way because my camera cut off because I didn't have enough memory. But anyway, so now that you're done with that, you can blend out your edges a little more. But we are going to go back and blend that out. So this is what you should be working with right here. Alright, and then on our lower lash line, we're going to take some more of that black pearl and we're actually going to smudge that into our lower lash line and you can use any brush you want you can use a pencil brush um, I personally am going to use this small smudger precision brush like this and you're just going to get into that black pearl loose shadow and you're just going to go right along your lower lash line here. Now don't get this on your waterline because we are going to put another color there. And you do want to make sure this connects with your color on the top as now, well. once you've got that, you can actually go in and start blending out this corner here. Because this looks terrible. And that's just to make that a little bit softer so it's not all crazy. Although this is kind of a crazy look though, so... And if you find you need to blend it out even further, you can always take some of your regular face powder and just use that to blend out your edges too. And it actually kind of acts like a bit of an eraser. So you can correct your shape if you need to. But that's just a real easy way to correct something if you made an uh-oh. Which I did. So, yeah. All right, and then once you've got your shape the way you want it, we're going to go in with our highlights. We're going to use two different colors here. Um, for the under the brow highlight, we're just using a neutral color. Um, I'm using a Jessie's Girl Pressed Eyeshadow um, in Champagne, which is just a shimmery beige color. Hope you guys can see that. And you are just going to take that on... What brush did I use? This one, I guess. Alright. Tap off any extra because you don't want too, too much. And just go right in under your brow line. 
And that's going to blend out the top edge of all that black, too. Alright. So you've got your brow highlight going on now. Alright, and then for the inner corner of our eyes, we're actually going to use um, like an iridescent green shade right here. And the color we're going to use, this is a Jessie's Girl Eye Dust, and the color is Kiwi Rose. And this is what the color looks like. It's mainly white, but you do get a really pretty green iridescence with it. Alright, and you're just going to take that on that same precision brush you used earlier. You can get most of the black off, but you don't have to get all of it off. That's perfectly fine. We'll load up your brush. And just get that right in that inner corner here. Okay. Alright, so now, once you've got your inner corner color down, Okay, so you know how we left our waterline blank? That is because we're going to put another color there. Um, to start with, we're going to use a bright violet purple liner. And that's what the color looks like. This one is actually an old discontinued one from Lancome. Um, it's a Le Crayon Coal, and the color is called Light Violine. Um, and like I said, it's just a really bright violet purple. But any violet colored eyeliner that you have will work. Um, I want to say um, Urban Decay has a really good duplication of this color. But you're just going to take that and go all along your waterline here. Alright, and then to set that and help it pop a little more, I'm actually going to go over that with a violet colored eyeshadow. I'm actually going to use uh, this loose eyeshadow here. It's just a deep purple. It's actually a MAC pigment. It's called Grape. And you're just going to take that on a squared liner brush like this. And you're just going to take that and dip it in to your pigment. Tap off any extra. And then you're just going to go in and just kind of dab that over the top of that violet eyeliner that you just laid down. Now I do know like with the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils like I said there's actually a pretty good dupe of this color in it. With those you're actually not going to do need to do this step. So if you have one of those you can just put on your liner and be done. So there's that. So there's that, and that's where we should be at right now. Just about done. This this look was pretty simple. All right, so now time for mascara. Um, for mascara, once again, this seems to be my mascara of the day. I'm using Maybelline Intense Volume Primer on top, mascara on bottom. So just go over your lashes, do your primer and your mascara. Alright, all right. so there's your mascara, and I actually skipped a step because I got to Russian, so I have to go back and do that now. And that's black eyeliner. Now, we're not going to do anything fancy with it, um, because you're not really going to see it if you do, unless you use a colored eyeliner, and then that's a different story. You can do wings or whatever, but you're just going to go in with a black pencil eyeliner. Um, I'm using Clarins Crayon Cool from Clarins, duh, I just said that, and it's... Um, extreme black, just a regular black. You're just gonna go in under that top lash line. And just get that as best you can. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then on top, at the base of your lashes, just to make it a little bit easier, that's the second time I've done that today, um, I'm using a NYX Super Fat Eye Marker, this guy here, and I'm just going to go in really, really close to the base, in line, 
And you don't have to be particularly neat about this because, like I said, nobody's really going to see this. Alright, so that is our eye look. And then we're just going to real quick run down the rest of your face. Alright, so for cheeks, we're going to do a blush and a highlight. I got felt kind of fancy, so I'm going to do a blush and a highlight. Uh, for the blush, I am using um, a MAC Mineralized Blush in Band of Roses. That's what that looks like. It was a limited edition, but anything you have will work. Um, you just want something kind of raspberry toned if you like that type of thing. Or if you don't particularly go for that color, you know that color doesn't look good on you, you can totally substitute something else. So there's that. And then for a highlight color, we're going to use a NYX Mosaic Powder in Champagne. That's what that looks like. There we go. And let me grab a brush. Should have had that ready to go. And you're just going to do this right across the top of your cheekbones and kind of curve it up and around the top of your brow. Not going to do too much of this because this is already a lot going on. And you can actually skip this step if you really want to, but I was feeling a little fancy, so I'm gonna. Alright, so that's your blush and your highlight. And since I've got so much going on with the rest of my face, I've decided to keep my lip pretty simple. I originally uh, mapped out this look with a darker lip. And you can totally go with a darker lip if you want to, but I'm not going to today. But you can totally change that up if you want to. And I am using um, just a pink, pale pink lip gloss like this. Um, it's a Maybelline. I want to say it's one of their limp plumpers, the XSL, XXL Volume Seduction Lip Plumper Lip Gloss. I don't know if they still make these. I want to say they're being discontinued, but um, I use shade 105. That's what it looks like. Any pale pink gloss you have will do. Alright, and that is the finished look and I hope you guys can see this really well I know my lights getting kinda low I kinda started on this really late because it took me forever to decide what I was gonna shoot today um, but in any case this is a finished look that's your eye up close that's what that looks like that's what it looks like with the eye closed and then you can see the cheek a little bit better too Alright, this is a finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and please like, rate, and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And hopefully I'll have another tutorial for you guys really, really soon. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. So, bye!